You are watching a short video called Zinc Die Casting Properties from the Eastern Alloys video series. In this video, we will review the mechanical and physical properties of zinc die casting alloys. In general, zinc die casting alloys have better properties than most competing cast alloys. The following slides review many of these properties. Also available to download is Eastern's four page zinc die casting property guide, which gives more details of each of these zinc die casting alloys. Let's start with some of the mechanical properties of zinc die casting alloys. In the following slides, the zinc alloys will be on the left group, other cast alloys will be in the center group, and properties of plastics will be on the right. Yield strength is the stress that materials can endure before they begin to deform. It is one of the more common properties used to compare alloy performance. As shown in this slide, zinc alloys are all very strong compared to other cast materials. Standard ZAMAC 3 is approximately one and a half times stronger than aluminum 380, and EZAC is approximately two and a half times stronger than 380. Castings like these steering columns are made in ZAMAC alloys due to its combination of strength and net shape casting ability. Impact strength is the ability of a material to absorb energy in the form of an impact strike. Zinc is often used in housings that are in the public domain where the housing needs to protect its internal components from outside forces. As shown in this slide, zinc alloys all have improved impact strength compared to other cast alloys and plastics. The example here is the accelerator hand dryer, chosen in ZAMAC 3 for its impact strength as well as its ability to be, to be electroplated. A material's hardness is its ability to resist deformation and indentation. As shown here, zinc alloys can achieve up to 120 Brunel compared to 80 Brunel for aluminum 380. The component shown here is a piston guide made in EZAC. It was the only alloy tested that was hard enough to withstand the wear of the piston that cycles through its inner diameter. Let's now discuss some of the physical properties of zinc die casting alloys. The melting temperature of zinc alloys is relatively low compared to other casting alloys, resulting in lower energy costs. In this bar graph, we see a range of temperatures representing the spread or slush range between the alloy's liquidus, or the temperature at which the alloy is completely liquid, and its solidus, the temperature at which the alloy is completely solid. The Zamac alloys have a liquidus temperature of approximately 390 Celsius, or 734 Fahrenheit. Since the ZA alloys have more aluminum in their composition, this liquidus temperature increases as shown. However, even ZA27 has a lower melting temperature than aluminum or magnesium alloys. Density can be a barrier when converting components to zinc. Zinc is simply heavier than many of the materials that it competes with. This graph shows that zinc is approximately two and a half times heavier than aluminum alloys. In some cases, weight is a benefit, as it gives a perception of quality when handling the components, such as this KitchenAid mixer. In many cases, however, zinc's higher density is not desired, and it is overlooked as a potential candidate. Due to the higher strength and fluidity of zinc alloys, this effective density is negated through design. Some zinc alloys are two and a half times stronger than aluminum, so it is possible to design components in zinc that is comparable in strength and in weight to aluminum components, with the added benefit of lower cost. As an example of a thin walled application, this business card was cast with Eastern's EZAC alloy. It has a wall thickness of 0.19 millimeters or seven and a half thousandths of an inch. Thermal conductivity is an important property for applications that are required to remove heat from a component. As shown here, the thermal conductivity of zinc alloys is superior to cast aluminum, magnesium, and even copper. Plastics are insulators and therefore do not conduct heat. More importantly, the ability of zinc alloys to be cast with complex shapes, such as heat sink fins as shown, allows even better heat removal than just the conductive property alone. Electrical conductivity is important for electronic applications that require RF shielding. Alloys with higher electrical conductivity produce components with better shielding capability. Zinc die casting alloys have higher electrical conductivity than most of the competing cast products and all plastics. This presentation gives just a few highlighted properties of zinc die casting alloys compared to materials that zinc competes with daily. More of these properties are found in the zinc die casting property guide, which was referred to earlier and can be downloaded from Eastern's website. Eastern also has an extensive library of property data collected through years of research. 
please contact us to discuss these properties or if you have additional questions about properties related to zinc diecasting alloys.